Seville in southern Spain is famous for its flamenco, its historic old town, and its wonderful weather. Tomas Zoma doesn't get to enjoy much of the sunshine, though. The new Heineken brewery is almost finished, so he has a lot on his plate. Behind the malt house's gigantic tanks is the largest brewery in Europe. That's why the Dutch company calls the new building Jumbo. Zoma is visiting the bottling hall. He's in charge of technology worth some 55 million euros. Heineken hopes that the new high-tech equipment from Germany will allow the company to save on staff. This production line behind us can cope with 50,000 bottles an hour. When it built this new brewery, which is currently the most modern in the world, Heineken wanted as much automation as possible. So this plant uses three people to produce what used to keep 10 to 12 people busy in the old brewery. You don't encounter many humans working in the bottling hall, but a lot of robots. Even the forklifts are steered by computer. It's technologically perfect, as long as it works. But it's a nightmare when things go wrong, as is happening on this production line. The packaging machine isn't working. Zoma and one of his 20 technicians has to find out what's gone wrong. They don't have much time because a backlog of cans is already piling up on the production line. After a brief moment of panic, the problem is fixed. Next door in the control room, factory director Fernando Navarro oversees all the production stages, from water supply and fermentation to filtering and bottling. The high-tech brewery is a pilot project. Heineken plans to build more of these fully automated factories all over the world. Every part of the process, from customer orders to delivery, will be computerized. For the time being, that's unique within the brewery industry. And we hope it'll make our plants as cost-effective as possible. Four hundred fifty million liters of beer per year are made here in the brewery. Most of it is the Spanish brand Cruz Campo. The technology here is also German, from the electronics to the kettles. The German brewery tradition is the best in the world. The German companies that build the plants have cornered the international markets because they're better than the competition in Belgium, France and Italy. Thomas Zoma is installing the last of six production lines in the bottling hall. The technicians at Konus have been working on this ambitious project for the last 18 months. Heineken has invested over 300 million euros. It should be ready by the summer. These photos will help document everything for the benefit of the Spanish colleagues. In a few months, the German technicians will be leaving and the Spaniards will have to take over. The Germans have put together an instruction manual as well. The workers have less and less time available, and they have to deal with increasingly complex processes, so they need quick start instructions that help them get to know the machines. The best manuals have lots of pictures and not much text. It's twilight in Seville's old town, and the bodegas are filling up. The region might be best known for its red wines, but in fact, the Spanish are among Europe's main beer drinkers. The most popular brand in Seville is Cruz Campo, and Tomas Zoma and his colleagues are more than happy to down a few.